The film biz could be coming to Summerlin sooner than you think. All right, sing it with me. Ready? Hooray for Summerlin. <laughs> ba, 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 Summerlin. Uh, the county approved zone changes for a massive 30-acre, 500,000 square foot production studio development off Town Center and 215. The project will be a joint venture between Sony and Summerlin's co corporate parent, Howard Hughes. And this would be a place where movies and television shows could be filmed mm -hmm. in, like, in Summerlin. Insane. And this is, uh, I think, probably going to hinge on whether or not they can get the uh, tax credits passed in uh, in uh, Carson City next year. But this is a big deal. It's a huge deal, especially for the Summerlin moms who will start the uh, Real Housewives of Summerlin two, three years later. Yeah, really? Guarantee. No kidding. They, there were rumors that they were going to do that for some time. They should. Yeah, they absolutely, I would, I would, that is primetime TV. Uh, that's exciting. I know exactly, now I'm just like picturing when I was like Town Center 215. But I truly, I can see. There's like, so much going, land. So there. much land yeah. right there. Yeah. So it's almost like That's they've been awesome. waiting for it this whole time. Mark Wahlberg is kind of like the spark that kind of set this whole thing mm -hmm. off. When Mark Wahlberg was talking about Hollywood 2.0 and Vegas and should, you know, should be that, the CEO of Howard Hughes Corporation was like, wait a second, he's got a point. Mm -hmm. And then he called Mark Wahlberg, who then got him in connection with Sony Pictures. And now this is potentially happening. Very, very exciting. I'm sure everybody around there is like, yay, can't wait for my rent to go up. Well, and this is the thing. It's like rent's going to go up. But like if you own property in the Southwest, oh, good decision. It's going to be very good for you, I think. Because, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so much is building in the Southwest now, finally. Uh, Christopher Young, the Las Vegas Metro officer accused of stalking his former girlfriend and daughter of Clark County DA Steve Wilson, pleaded guilty to misdemeanor stalking. He was sentenced to a year probation, and if he violates that, 90 days in the slammer. Uh, Young was accused of using Metro's resources to check on a car parked in front of Rebecca Wolfson's house. Checked the uh, license plate there. I wish I had that technology in my car. So I can remember right. to send the glitter bomb to, huh? <laughs> uh, along with damaging her car. Yeah, he keyed the car, smashed the car, the whole deal. Uh, currently suspended without pay for Metro, which is again, yeah, that's that's a huge rare deal. moment. God mm -hmm. bless. Uh, next year, your kid might be stowing their phones away. The district announced that sixth through twelfth graders will be required to put their phone in a non-locking pouch during school hours. That's just the way it's going to be now. You can't just have the phone on you at all times and flipping through and checking texts and stuff like that. This is a smart move, especially the non-locking, because in case there is an emergency, quick access to it. Um, a Jaden's school right now, they all put it in a pouch at the front of the, the class when they also get in. Also super smart. Mm -hmm. yeah, there yeah. are some teachers that allow them to have them. Um but then we get emails saying, hey, we allow it, but like Jaden's uh, allowing it, allowing too much. <laughs> so like, have them put it in the pouch. No. I'm so because they, they'll take it. Like, I think they have two chances. And then um, when they take it the second time, it, the parents have to go to school and get it. What a I'm pain. like, no. I, I'll. I will ground your ass in a second. I have to go in, go say, hi, I'm sorry, my kid was on his phone. Hey, listen, you're on a diet, but here's a cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. You can't eat it. Oh like, goodness. come on, please. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah, definitely the pouches is the move. Uh, Culinary Union holding informational pickets at Virgin Hotel during the midday and afternoon today. Turns out, I, I thought that everyone had the deal. It turns out Virgin has not gotten the deal done yet. Wow. Yeah, they will learn. <laughs> they all yeah. learn. Renderings of the rebuild of the Mount Charleston Lodge were released, and they are gorgeous. The original lodge, a total loss after a fire in 2021. The project may break ground next year. More trouble from North Las Vegas Airport. This time, a door fell off during takeoff on a little two-seater plane deal. The plane oh, was able to make a safe landing, which is good, but... um. <laughs> Wow. It wasn't a Boeing, shockingly. I was literally going to say that. I'm like, <laughs> my goodness. There's so many memes right now of people, like, when you find out, when you're boarding the airplane, you find out it's a Boeing, you're like, no! When you, um, Boeing used to be the pinnacle mm -hmm. of planes and cost-cutting measure. If you, like, actually look into the history of it, it's really pathetic. Like, this is an American-made company. Wow, it was prideful, and now it's just like... Man, how, how, what were you willing to do for profits? Oh, you're going to lubricate things with Dawn dish soap? Mm -hmm. Really? I'm in a plane that you lubricated things with Dawn yeah. dish soap. I could have done that. Uh, nobody won last night's Powerball jackpot. Saturday's drawing worth an estimated 750 mil. Meanwhile, tomorrow night's Mega Millions jackpot worth an estimated 977 mil. Wow. And I'm going to win both of them. There you go. I just read the secret, and that means I'm going to win them. Right? Mm -hmm. Power.
positive thinking. That's true. UNLV running Rebels beat Princeton 84-77 in the NIT. They face off against Boston College on Sunday. The Vegas Golden Knights face the Kraken tonight at the Fortress. And in co-ed softball, the Resistance dropped their first game 17-8 and their second game 21-8. Sean Tempesta went one for th- uh, four on the night. <laughs> Controversy in game two as a towering pop-up to center was determined to be hit with an illegal bat. Sean was let off with a warning. Sean's learning the rules <laughs> slowly but surely. Las Vegas weather. It is currently 53 degrees. It's a high of 77 today. Some clouds this morning, sunny this afternoon.